everybody so I promised you a video I've got your video it's not the best but it's here um so on this set I've already gone in and prepped and I'm just applying a clear base to all 10 of the nails and that is with crystal gloss um I'm from CJP So on this one I've gone over the top with this beautiful colour, it's creme, br creme brulee, <laughs> couldn't say that then, it's so late, um, creme brulee from um, Nails by Annabelle, so it's a Glitter Bells um, colour. I just bought a couple because I wanted to see what they was like. Um, so I've got creme brulee, I've got marshmallow, um, I've got the snowdrops white and a cover, I think it's the almond I've got, so you will be seeing some of them um, pop up when I come to do more sets. I do apologise for being slightly out of shot, I do go out of shot slightly, very very slightly on this one, I did do a little bit better this time, um, but I do go out of shot on a couple, but this is one plain nail of um, creme brulee and then I'm going to cap it um, in my CJP um, crystal glass. Um, so the colour is sandwiched in between, the reason that I've done that is because I only have CJP monomer, so the base is CJP, the top is CJP, so I can put whatever colour in between that and it will work perfectly fine. Um, I've never had any problems doing it before, so there you go. So this set is inspired by um, Nails by Yvonne and she did a set that had this gorgeous Geometrix design in it and it's got like something like 12 sections I have never done 12 sections in any acrylic cut um, and it is quite I mean it's a bit taxing to the brain I'm not gonna lie I did these two weeks ago she's still wearing them now um, but I've just not had time to voice over this video so I've just left it but she did have them on two weeks ago now and um, you will see them on my Instagram page from when I first posted them um, they are a little bit shorter than Yvonne's nails and the main reason that I wanted to do these was this nail. So this nail has got a clear base of um, CJP crystal glass like all the rest um, and then this one is stolen the colour that I'm using now which is also CJP. So what I'm trying to do is get like a triangular shape. Now I didn't know until I come to do the second triangle that I did my clear base just a little tiny bit too thin so it did start to bend. I thought at first it hadn't set properly um, but it was just that it was just too thin um, because I was worried about like the bulk and uh, this nail, it was a pain in the arse. The first one I managed to do perfectly fine. This one it was setting really quick as you can see it was quite difficult to cut into. Um, and then yeah it was just a pain in the butt and they always look like a big hot mess these nails until you filed them off so I did sort of lose the will halfway through um, but then I thought I've just got to stick with it this my new thing is my new thing is to just stick with it like just don't care do you know what I mean just do not care this looks highly dangerous what I'm doing now but actually that is blunt <laughs> it's actually blunt and she has got a clear base on her nail so I didn't hurt her I didn't cause any harm to her whatsoever during the making of these nails so yeah I'm um, doing this nail when I looked at it originally I thought I really don't know where to start like do I start with the bottom two half diamonds do I do the center and I decided the center was the best way to go with this because I wanted the center four to be central if that makes sense so that's why I decided to do it the way that I did and it wasn't until I got to the end that I thought oh my god why did I do it this way around but you live and learn and I really 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 want to do these nails again um, but on a longer set because I think oh my god it's just so nice I love it um, I'm just going in there with a little bit more stone over the top because I didn't feel like my walls were high enough I was being a bit over cautious with keeping everything thin um, and I must add as well in case I forget later on because I have a very bad memory um, that I did cap both of these nails um, and the reason that I did that is because 
I mean, I just did. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know why I did it. I think it was the CJP thing. I just like to have CJP over the top. So I did cap them both um, just in case I don't point that out later. But yeah, so I'm going in with my two triangles. And as you can see, I'm trying to get it pretty much right with my brush to start with because then it's less cutting. Um, I was trying to figure out as I was going how I was going to cut around this kind of shape. Um, so I did use cutting wire, which I got mine from Smiley's, um, Smiley's Glitter Store. I do find it a little bit slippy. I have got other things that I have cut with before, so usually I'll just try and keep everything straight with my brush. Um, you can use, depending on the shape that you're trying to cut, if you're trying to cut a flat line, then you could use the wire, you could use a craft knife, um, you could use um, like dental floss um, the dental floss sticks are very good for that as well the little sticks that you get with a piece of dental floss across it that's quite good um, but I used the wire on this occasion and it was slipping through my fingers literally driving me insane okay it was driving me insane and you can see I had short nails on I'm not used to working with short nails on. I'm used to working with very long nails on um, but I did break my own nail um, a couple of weeks before I'd done this set and I had to file it down and it broke sort of in the center I hit it twice and just didn't fix it because that's what nail techs do they think I'll, I'll deal with it later and then you get too tired so just let me point out there I am just resting my finger underneath um, to support that and then you'll see me test it to see if it is actually set and hard and it was set and hard so I just left it as it was because I mean, there's little that you can do there, but we're here to learn by my mistakes, I remember, so you know, that's what I'm doing. Um, yeah, so anyway, I broke my nail, I didn't fix it, I decided to fix it, like, I'll do it tomorrow, that kind of thing, and then I didn't get around to doing it, it just had a crack in it, um, and then I whacked it really hard, and it snapped straight across my finger, and there was blood coming out of the centre of my nail, so I had to cut it down and let it heal for two weeks. So, when I'm trying to do anything with my fingers, it's dead clumsy, because my fingers always feel dead fat. They feel really fat. Does anyone else get that stubby hand syndrome? When you've got no nails on, you feel like stubby hands. It's no good. No good at all. Anyway, so on the rest of these nails, they're going to look pretty plain to be to begin with. I am going to go in with some crystals later, which I haven't left in the video because this video was long because of that nail and the filing, um, which I've left in for you. And this one is just a full glitter, as you can see. That is a gold glitter and I believe it is Cleopatra and I think it is from um, Diamond Glitters and then I'm going to go in with a rose one over the top which you know what who knows what the name of that one is but it's from a pack from Smiley's she does a, a full pack of different rose golds and it was in that pack and that's where I got the next one from and I'll just ombre a little bit of the rose gold up over that gold um, just to give it a little bit of extra something you know a bit of pink everyone likes a bit of pink so that's what I'm doing there and then I'm going to cap that in crystal glass So this one's going to be a full creme brulee again um, and I think it's this one that I apply the crystals to. Um, it's such a pretty colour and these um, glitter bells, acrylics, I mean I've got this one and I've got the marshmallow and they are so nice, look at it, it's just so nice to work with so I probably will buy some more, I'm not going to lie because I quite like them. They are like just so smooth and creamy and just beautiful 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 um but yeah i'm gonna drag these tubs out as long as i possibly can because you know i like to keep my colors so waste not want that i just use a lot of clear capping stuff so i don't know if these need to be capped 
um, I didn't really read a lot about them but they are also over a layer of crystal glass and they will also be under a layer of crystal glass as well um, but I do that with most colours anyway because I'm tight and I like to save my colours so there you go um, that's that what else was I going to say? I was going to say hi to all my new subscribers and welcome. You're still subscribing even though I'm getting useless at uploading videos. It's not so much being able to record videos and edit them. I can do that. I can do that while I'm in bed. I can do that while I'm in the bath. The problem that I have is finding quiet time to voice over. Yeah. So you might end up getting some with voiceovers and some without, unfortunately, because over Christmas I am but solid, absolutely solid, so yeah, I'll do my best. Um, this one I am doing a full um, stone, I love this grey, I love this grey and I love ash, but CJP have got quite a few different greys and these two are my favourite, I believe there's a new one called Elephant, yeah, so I've not bought that one yet but I'm going to have to have a look, I've just avoided looking at any of the new colours, although I do watch Liz and I see now using one called Snapdragon and I need that now so I'm either going to have to just go on and buy them or carry on avoiding it and avoiding Liz until I can afford to do so because I mean I'm lethal when I go shopping, I don't just buy one or two colours, no I can't do that because I'm a shopaholic when it comes to nail stuff so yeah I'm just avoiding that at the moment but there I've got loads of new colours out and their colours are immense Okay, back to the nightmare nails. So now I need two diamonds on either side of this. Um, and then I'm going to fill in the rest of the colour. Um, the thumb. I don't actually know if I recorded the thumb. But the thumb, yes I did. I did. I think you saw that right at the beginning. It is a full creme brulee. Um, but yeah, I'm just going in with creme brulee on these two diamonds here. Um, and yeah, I'm just trying to keep it as well as I possibly can with my brush. I mean, these nails always look terrible while you're doing them anyway, um, because you have to overlap the colour sometimes. It's pretty much impossible to do it and fill it in properly without overlapping a little bit. Um, I feel like I did possibly do this the wrong way around. In hindsight, I'd probably start at the bottom, so the cuticle and then work up in them sections but it did keep it central and it did look I mean in my opinion it looked quite good to be fair um, to say it's the first time I've done this nail um, I thought it looks okay it could be better there is flaws in there but you know it's just it's a learning curve you've got to try these things just try it just try it even if you try it on on a dummy hand, like one of the little fakey ones or something. I don't know what she's doing there, I think she's laughing. I think she was looking to see what a hot mess I've made. <laughs> I don't know. Um, so this is where I've gone slightly out of shot, um, but I will come back very soon, I think. I'm just putting two triangles of creme brulee down near the cuticle. Um, this bit I did struggle with, this is why I'd start at the bottom in future because I felt like I had to file quite a lot to get that to lie snug with the cuticle so I had a nice sort of raise to the apex if you like because it was quite bulky down there um, because of the way that I've laid these triangles and I'm not about that, do you know what I'm saying? That's just me taking away some of the bulk there with my um, wire because I pulled that right over the top of the grain. It was quite thick um, and I was trying to sort of keep it away from the cuticle itself and things. And then I'm just filing around the bottom now while that's dry because the rest of the nails are finished apart from full filing. So I'm just trying to keep everything neat and tidy so I can get the last few, few, 
<laughs> Why can't I say few? The last few sections in. So yeah, I think in hindsight this is where I'd start. I'd start with these two half triangles here and then get them into place, maybe. I mean, I don't know how hard that would be to get your central ones once you've done that, because if you place them wrong, um, then you're not gonna get central diamonds um, down the middle of your nail. So that's the reason that I didn't do it. That's what I was thinking when I first started, but then, you know, just whatever. I didn't even know what I was doing by this point. I'm going in with, um, Snow White from CJP and I'm just filling in the other sections on the sides because I did want three colours so it does sort of, when you see it at the end it does make sense so when I was thinking it I was thinking am I making sense but it did make sense once I filed it and I could see it properly but sometimes you can't see these nails properly um, as you're doing them because it is just a big lump of colour and a big bulky ass nail so you don't see what you've done until the end so fingers crossed that worked out <laughs> good luck Karen <laughs> okay so you'll all probably think why is she even doing this like I've told you a million times before I qualified in February 2017 so we're on like ugh, nearly two years is it nearly two jeez Louise nearly two years um, and I've avoided stuff like this, I look at them and I think, oh my god, that's so pretty, I wish I could do that. You're not going to know if you can do it until you try, do you know what I'm saying? So this is me trying for the first time to do something that is out of my comfort zone. I did, honestly, it doesn't look like I did, but I did enjoy trying it. Um, and I always enjoy trying new things and I think that you should just try it. And if you tell yourself you can do it, you probably can. I mean, I'm not saying that this nail is perfect by any means, but if I keep trying this nail, and I will keep trying it until I can get it pretty much damn near perfect, um, I would like to try it with three centre um, grey triangles, but we'll have to wait for someone who's willing to let me do that. I mean, I'd do it on myself, but I don't think I'm that smart. Um, or that ambidextrous, do you know what I mean? I can't, I just don't think I can. <laughs> um, but yeah, so this is, you've, you've got to evolve as a nail tech, otherwise you're just not going to make any, you're not going to make any progress. Sorry, I got interrupted then by a story about the elf on the shelf. I don't know if you know what that is, but it's a UK thing where we stick this elf around the house and pretend like, I don't even know. I don't even want to say that because what if a kid is listening? Yeah, scrap that. Anyway, so I am now debulking this nail to reveal my hot mess. <laughs> but I tried anyway. So I'm just going to debulk. I'm going to show you a little bit of the filing. Um, I'm going to apply some um, crystals off camera because that's so long winded. And then I will top coat and you will see the finished product. Let me know what you think and let me know definitely if you try this because yeah, it's it's a nice looking nail, but I'd like to see it longer. I'd like to see it. I think somebody else did a video actually. While I've had this stored in my phone, somebody else put out a video of this nail. Um, and she did a much better job than me. I can't remember who it is, but I will try and leave a link to her when I figure out who that was. Um, but yeah, so I hope you enjoyed it. I'm sorry about my rambling. I've not been here for a while. It's been a week. I've had a lot to say, do you know what I'm saying? So I'm going to go and yeah, I'll see you again sometime soon. Love you all. Bye.